Before I leave 6.1 behind, I wanted to show you one more um, little example. And it's the last one from 6.1, which is actually a really important example because upon this, well, every insurance policy you've ever owned or your family's ever owned is based on this idea. So um, insurance of house, insurance of car, insurance of life, I mean, it's all kind of the same thing. Okay, so um, I'll just do the life insurance one, but it would work the same for, for this one down here with the foreclosed property. So a life insurance company sells $250,000 one-year term life insurance policy to a 20-year-old male, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and don't forget, this problem's available in my type notes, which are on my website, right? I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that, but... Doo -doo. There it is. Chapter 6, type notes, right? Okay. So anyway, back we go. So, let's see. If this person lives out the year, so let me go to stat edit. We need to figure out what the gain and loss is for the company. So I'm going to clear out all these old columns. We don't need any of this junk anymore. Over, up, clear enter, over, up, clear, enter. Okay. If you sell, a, if you're the life insurance company and that's what they want, they want the expected value to the company, right, not to the person. Okay, if you're the life insurance company and this guy that you sell it to lives out the year, then you're to the good 450 bucks, right? Enter. If he dies, then you are out, well, you'd think it's 250000 but it's not. It's 250000 take away the 450 but it's got to be a loss, right? In accounting, you learn that when you lose, it ends up being negative, right? So you take 450, take away 250000 right? 450, take away 250000 enter. And it gives you a negative value. If you go up, you can see it's negative 249550. Okay, because you're still to the good the 450 the guy paid. Now I go over here. Now what are the chances this guy's gonna live out the year and I'm gonna get my money? That is this number right here, 0 0.998611. So I'm gonna type, oopsie, 0 0.998611. Enter. What's the chances he dies and I'm out the 250k? Well, the 249.550. It's one minus 0 0.998611, right? Because you either live or you die. These two are complements, right? Like we learned in chapter 5. Okay? So they have to add up to 1. This column has to add up to 1. Alright, now how do you find the expected value? Expected value is the mean, right? The average. How much do you expect to make on any one of these policies? So you go to stat, calc, one variable, L1, comma, L2, right? You're saying, look, go to L1 to find the, the money you're making or losing, the gains and losses, positives and negatives. Go to L2 to find out the chances of each one of those things. Enter. And there you go. You can see that they expect to make, so the company expects to make $102.75 for each one of these policies they sell. Now notice, they couldn't actually make 102 on any one policy. They either make 450 bucks or they lose 249,550. That's it. Those are the only options. What's happening is that if they sell a lot of these policies, right, lots and lots and lots, most of the guys, the 20-year-old men, are going to live right and so from them they're going to be getting money 450 450 450 and then a couple guys will die and they'll be out the 249550 for them okay but as they average out for the company right the company expects to make $102 on average let me put it that way for each one of these policies that they sell all right that's how to compute the expected value and how to interpret it all right i will see you here next time for 6.2